Hello students, in the previous class, we discussed uh, very important problems regarding matrix multiplication. Now, today we will continue the thought of matrix multiplication problems related to that. Now, look at this question now. We will discuss that. A trust fund has rupees 30,000. A trust fund has rupees 30,000 that must be divided into two different types of bonds. If a trust having 30,000 rupees in their hand, just we will have to analyze. A trust has 30,000 rupees in their hand. The first bond, they have to make two bonds. They have to make two bonds. The first bond pays 5% interest per year. The first bond, interest per year is 5%. And the second bond, second bond pays 7% interest per year. That means, for, per, uh, for 100 rupees, 7 rupees, second bond we will pay an interest and 5% an interest of first bond. Means 5 rupees per, uh, 5 rupees per 100 rupees. Now, using the matrix multiplication, we have to use the matrix multiplication, determine, determine how to divide rupees 30,000 among two types of bonds, among two types of bonds. If the trust must obtain, if the trust must obtain an annual interest of rupees 2000, that means they must get at the end of academic year, that, sorry, annual one year, after completion of one year, they must get 2000 rupees interest for 30,000. How they have to divide, that means if I am having 30,000 30, rupees in my hand, I have to divide it into two, bond, two bonds. If I pay uh, 20,000 for one bond, uh, 10,000 for one another bond, they will take some interest. It depends upon the interest, 5%, 7%. This is a situation. But I, at the end of the year, we must get 2,000 rupees interest according to, according to the condition. First bond, we have, there is a 5% interest. Second bond, 7% interest. By manually we can do, but it will take the time. They are mentioned clearly using matrix multiplication. You have to use matrix multiplication. That means 30,000 in there, my, in, it is in my hand, 30,000, it is in my hand, assume that. And I have to divide, there are two bonds, two types of bonds here. I have to pay, I have to fix a deposit in two different bonds according to their interest. At the end of the year, I must get 2000 rupees interest. How to calculate, how to divide it using matrix, matrix multiplication? Let us discuss it now. Okay? Let us, I will take what I will assume. Let us, I will assume x rupees. x rupees among 30,000 rupees. I have taken uh, x rupees is invested. Invested. In first bond, in first bond, if I invest X rupees in 30,000 for first bond, what about the second bond? Remaining amount I have to keep in the second bond. That is then, then for second bond, second bond, trust has to invest, has to invest. How much? 30,000 minus X rupees, isn't it? For first one, if I pay, if I pay 5,000, remaining it will be 25,000. Okay? If I pay first one X rupees, I need to find X only. Actually, I need to find X, how much I have paid for first one, I have paid for second one. So, if I take X for first one, remaining amount for second one, that is 30,000 minus X. Okay, here look at this, 5% interest means 5 rupees for 100 rupees. And 7% interest means 7 rupees for 100 rupees. Now, therefore, the interest, total interest, last we must get what? 2000. Okay, just therefore, by matrix multiplication, how we have to multiply? How we will multiply usually? In matrix multiplication, a very clear idea. Row, first then column, row, column. I will write the amount x rupees for first bond, 
30,000 minus 30,000 minus x rupees for second one. This is the first one, second one. I will write the column wise. Why? Because, sorry, row wise. Why? Because? Why? Because first we have to take a row, then we have to take column. And in column, in the row I mention first one amount, second one amount. In column, we have to mention x is multiplied with interest. What is interest in first one? 5 by 100. That is 5 rupees per 100. Next, second one. This has to multiply second one. Second one, 7 rupees per 100 rupees. 7 by 100, 7%. Is must be equal to what? Interest you have to calculate. You have to get the interest. 2000 rupees is there. You must get 2000 interest. Okay. Now this is a confusion. How we have to write? This is a first bond amount, second bond amount. First one interest, second one interest. Why I have taken this is a row? Why I have taken this is a column? Because the matrix multiplication rules straight there. Straight. This is a row, this is a column. First row, first column like that. Now multiply, use all multiplication. I hope you will get the idea. Yes, we can write the matrix multiplication. First row, first column. X into 5 by 100. It becomes 5x by 100. You can cancel 5 by 20 like this. But no problem. If you didn't also. Plus row, column like this. This into this. What happens? 7 threes are. 7 3 is a 20. 2 lakh 10,000, I think. Isn't it? 2 lakh 10,000 minus 7x. Divided by LCN is, sorry, 100. Divided by 100. This is a matrix multiplication. Is equal to 2000. Is equal to 2000. Isn't it? This matrix, this element multiply plus this element multiply. Now what happened? Take down LCM. LCM is what? 100. This is LCM means 5x plus 2 lakhs 10,000 minus 7x is equal to 2,000. So how to equate or tell more simplification required? 5x minus 7x minus 2x. So what happened? 5x minus 2x, 2 lakh 10,000, 2 lakh 10,000 minus 2x divided by 100. This is a matrix. It should be equal to 2000 interest. 2000 interest. So, elements are equal. Because it is one cross one matrix, it is one cross one matrix. Keep the point. So, 2 lakh 10,000 minus 2x divided by 100 is equal to 2000. Elements are equal. Next, cross multiply. 2 lakh 10,000 minus 2x is equal to cross multiply becomes 2 lakh it becomes. Now what happened? Send this to here, this to here. 2 lakh 10,000 minus 2 lakhs. It is equal to 2x. So it becomes what? 10,000 is equal to 2x. So x becomes 5,000. 5,000 what it is? What it is? 5,000 rupees what it means? For first bond, we have to keep 5,000 in 30,000. A trust fund has 30,000 rupees. To get the interest of what? 2,000 means for first bond, if I keep 5,000, what about the second bond? What about the second bond? Second bond, then the second bond trust must go to 30,000 minus X. That is, for first bond, this much amount. Therefore, for second one, I will write it here better. Therefore, for second one, for second one, what happened? For second one, 5000 less it, 30,000 minus 5000, it becomes 25,000. That is a condition. If I keep for, for second one, 25,000, for first one, 5000, at the end of the year, I will get 2000 interest according to the condition. That's why I have taken x rupees 30,000 minus x. The similar questions we will see now. Okay. okay, see here. Next question the bookshop of a particular school has 10 dozen chemistry books, 8 dozen physics books, 10 dozen economics books. 
their selling prices are rupees 80, rupees 60, rupees 40 respectively. That means for one dozen chemistry books, how much cost or selling price is rupees 80 and 10 8 dozen, oh sorry, uh, 10 dozen chemistry books, okay, 10 dozen chemistry books, 8 dozen, 8 dozen physics books, the cost or selling price is what? 60 rupees. And similarly, 10 dozen economics books having the price rupees 40. Okay, isn't it? Now, what they ask is observe. Find the total amount of the bookshop will receive from selling all the books using matrix algebra. Matrix algebra is addition, subtraction, multiplication. Yeah. But it is easy to calculate for you people. Usually by doing a simple calculation we can do it. But they have put one condition using matrix algebra. We have to find the total number of amount. Total amount we have to receive. Okay. So what happened? I said in the last example we have to write first row that call. Okay. So total amount. Let us I will take 10 dozen. The total amount, the total amount is nothing but a, first we have to write books in a row wise, that is a row wise. How many books? 10 dozen chemistry books. This is for reference purpose I will write, not required. 10 dozen chemistry books, 8 dozen physics books, 10 dozen economics books. This is a reference I am writing. Row wise what first we have to write. Next column wise we have to write the amount. Column wise amount is what? 80 rupees 60 rupees 40 rupees. We have to write the column wise. Isn't it? So we have to write first row then column. This is a price rate by using simple term. So now what happened? Now matrix multiplication. Usual first row first column. 10 into 80, 800, plus 86, 48, plus 400, 10 into 4. Okay, now what happened? 800 plus 400, 1200, 1200, plus 400, 1600, plus 80, 1680 rupees. The total amount they will receive by using the condition. Okay, so we can do it very simple way also, but this is a using matrix multiplication. Now we will go for the next thing we will uh, discuss about properties of matrix multiplication. Matrix multiplication we studied it till so far. The matrix addition, subtraction, multiscalar multiplication in that we observed some of the properties using that is a commutative property, associative property like that. Here also we will discuss the three properties related to related to matrix multiplication. So properties of matrix multiplication. Properties of matrix multiplication. First one, in addition of the matrices, we observe the commutative holds A plus B matrix is always equal to B plus A, but in matrix, commutative does not hold. So AB need not be equal to B. May be equal, may not be equal. That's why commutative law does not hold. AB is need not be equal to BA matrix coming under the matrix multiplication. What so for now what happened? Here the first property we will discuss associative property. Okay. For any three matrices A, B, C, there are three matrices A, B, C where matrix multiplication is possible according to the order I said in the first class of matrix multiplication. So if A, B, C are three matrices which is Matrix multiplication is possible. Associative always holds A B into bracket C is always equal to A into bracket B C. Associative property like in the previous year sex union intersection you did it. So you can remember that point that is nothing but a associative property. A B into C is equal to A into B C. This is our associative property. Okay. Now we will move for distributive property. This always true. This always true. Be careful. Distributive law or distributive property. We already distributive. You heard about it. 
Okay, that distributive property is nothing but for any three matrices A into B plus C, which is matrix multiplication is possible, always equal to AB, AB plus AC, AB plus AC. It is always true for matrix multiplication also, or you can write A plus B into C, it is nothing but AC plus BC, like this also. These are two properties under distributive, uh, distributive or uh, multiplication and addition. That is multiplication over the addition. This is a A union B intersection C like that. You will do now. That's why here we will modify under the matrix uh, matrices chapter. Now we will uh, continue next. Existence of identity. Existence of Identity, multiplicative identity. So identity for every square matrix. So we I say for every square matrix. I am mentioning very clearly a square matrix. Square matrix, you know very well. For only I am mentioning square matrix. They exist. They exist. They exist identity matrix identity matrix I of same order of matrix A. How much order A is there? That same order I have such that such that I into A is equal to A into I is equal to always equal to A. That's why identity means identity. If you multiply for identity one matrix, you will get same matrix. Okay? I into A or A into R always equal to A. So for example, I will take one example. You will come to know clear idea about this. Let us I will take A is equal to 2, or minus 1, 3, 4. If you take A matrix, order is 2. A square matrix of order 2. Let us discuss A into R. A into R just observe. A matrix 2 minus 1, 3, 4. What is the I? You can predict the identity matrix. I hope. Identity 1, 0, 0, 1. Matrix multiply. Multiply. 2 into 1, 2. Minus 1 into 0, minus 0. 2 into 0, 0. Minus 1 into 1, minus 1. 3 into 1, 3. 4 into 0, 0. 3 into 0, 0. 4 into 1, 4. I don't want to explain it how it came. First row, first column, second row, first column, like that. Okay? Simplify it. 2 minus 0, 2 minus 1, 3, 4. What we got it? Again, A matrix. Okay? A into R, R into A is always equal to A matrix itself. For every square matrix, we will get one identity matrix. Always. Such that R into A is always equal to A into A. R is always equal to A of A. Okay, that's why identity exists for every square matrix under the matrix operations. Okay, now we can observe for that. Okay, now we will continue next uh, next type of matrices. Next point you can consider transpose of a matrix. Transpose of a matrix. Transpose of a matrix. We will define let a equal to a i z b as any matrix b any matrix of order of order m cross m of order m cross m then the transpose then the transpose of a matrix A is denoted by denoted by a dash is denoted by a dash and it is given by it is given by, or it is obtained by better it is given by instead of that it is obtained by it is obtained by changing or exchange changing its rows into columns and columns into rows 
that is that is a dash is equal to a is what a is a a dash is nothing but a j r reverse and order is it will change n cross n simple way we have to change rows or columns a dash we will denote it like this also or we can take a transpose a transpose okay for example if i take you will come to know the clear idea for example let a is equal to if i take 1 3 4 minus 1 6 0 0 0 okay 1 3 4 minus 6 1 minus 1 6 0 0 then transpose a dash or a transpose can be calculated by using row is 1 3 4 you make it common and this is a row minus 1 6 0 make it common row becomes column column becomes row 1 minus 1 column here yeah, 1 minus 1 row become row this is the order of order three rows two column this is the order two rows three column the columns are interchanged what is this a j r a j r is nothing but it will change the position this is a third three is a element it is in what position in what position first row second column here it becomes here three three which place it is in second row third sorry second row first column second row first column first row second column interchange a i z becomes a j r a one two becomes a two one a three one becomes a one three like this okay one more example if i take you will come to know the clear idea two minus one three one two one zero three five okay a dash you can write it is a square matrix it is a square matrix how do you all write row minus one three. this row becomes column this row becomes column this row becomes column okay this is a a dash okay how we will obtain by interchanging the rows and columns it is obtained by interchanging rows and columns if you write it is by okay interchanging rows and columns of a matrix we will get the transpose of a matrix and it is denoted by a dash or a transpose we can symbolically mention that and here we can observe that some properties of transpose of a matrix we will discuss it now properties first point we can observe it is always holds a dash whole dash is always equal to a a dash whole dash is always equal to a means for example a is equal to what 3 minus 1 6 4 1 more i think minus 1 5 if it is there a dash becomes what you can observe a dash 3 minus 1 1 6 4 5 isn't it i be i made it row becomes column column becomes row i made it again transpose a dash whole dash what happened 3 6 it is a row i will make it column it is a row i will make it column it is row i will make it column what happened now we will get the similar matrix same matrix as it is there a dash is always equal to a a dash whole dash a dash whole dash is always equal to a matrix that is property and second property we can observe k a whole dash k is nothing but what any scalar it is nothing but a k into a dash k into a dash k is what in a number say for example if it is a 2 a matrix if you are, if it is there 2 a whole dash is nothing but a 2 times a dash you can modify that that is not one thing we can clearly observe much more important we will give now next property that is a plus b whole dash is always equal to a dash plus b dash a plus b whole dash is always equal to a plus a dash plus b dash we will verify we will check it out we will discuss the problems next uh, after completing this property next fourth one it is very important this property that means by using this there is a problem related to that a b whole dash is always equal to b dash a dash a b whole dash is not equal to a dash b dash a b whole dash is not equal to a dash b dash a b whole dash is always equal to 
v dash k dash. We will discuss it now. Okay? That problems they will ask. Or we will start the problems related to that. But okay? Uh, examples we will discuss. If a is equal to three, two minus one six, b is equal to one two minus one three. Okay, this is a a and b. Then, then find a plus b whole dash a plus b whole dash and verify a verify a plus b whole dash equal to a dash plus b dash. We have to verify a dash plus b dash is nothing but a plus b whole dash. Solution is very simple. A plus b we need to find. What is a matrix? Three two minus one six plus b matrix. What is b matrix? One two minus one three. Adding the matrices, very simple. Very simple. We can do it very fast. Three plus one becomes four. 2 plus 2 becomes 4. Minus 1 minus 1 becomes minus 2. 6 plus 3 9. This is a A plus B matrix. A plus B whole dash is nothing but uh, making a row or interchanging the rows and columns of the given matrix. So we interchange 4 4 here. Row becomes a column and row becomes column. This is a A plus B whole dash. And now what I have to verify? A dash plus B dash. What is A dash? What is A dash? This is A matrix. Make it uh, interchanging the rows and columns. Three, two, minus one, six. Plus B dash becomes what? One, two. This is a B. Make it uh, interchanging the rows and columns. What happened now? Three plus one. Adding the matrices elements. Minus one, minus one becomes minus two. 2 plus 2 becomes 4. 6 plus 3 becomes 9. What happened? Just I will take this as a 2. Let us I will take this as a 1. From 1 and 2, what I conclude that from 1 and 2, what I conclude that a plus b whole dash is always equal to a dash plus b dash. They ask to verify, not to prove, but it compulsory it is proved by using the properties. Okay, property states, but a minus b whole dash is equal to a dash minus b dash. We will check. Okay, a dash minus b dash, a minus b whole dash is equal to whether it is possible or not. We will check it for another example. We will check it. Okay, or you can take same example. We will see. Okay, for same example, if I take, let us see what happened. Verify a minus b whole dash is equal to. A dash minus B dash. If you want to change the question, you can. Yes, you can change. But matrix addition, but difference is possible. Only you have to take. I will take two, one, three, four, minus one, zero. B matrix. One, two, minus one, six, five, four. Order must be same for matrix addition and subtraction. That's why I am changing the question. A minus B. We need to first find what is a minus b whole dash. Sorry, a minus b. How to subtract? Two minus one, one. One minus two, minus one. Three minus minus one becomes plus one. It becomes four. Four minus six, minus two. Minus one, minus five, minus six. Zero minus four, minus four. A minus b is now a minus b whole dash. A minus b whole dash is one minus one. Four minus six. So four minus two. Four minus two minus six minus four. Row becomes column. Columns becomes row. Row column. Row column. Row column. Yes. This is a minus b whole dash. I will calculate a a dash minus b dash. Now what happened? A dash is becoming what? Two one. Sorry. This is a a. A dash. What I will do? Two one. Row becomes column. Row becomes column. Minus one zero. This is a a dash minus b dash one two minus one six five four, isn't it? So what happened? Two minus one one three minus minus plus one four minus one minus five minus six one minus two minus one four minus six minus two zero minus four minus two. Look at this. Both are same or different? Zero minus two. Only one variation. What we did? 
in 0 minus 4 minus 4 okay verify means it is shown 0 minus 4 by looking at this 1 i2 a minus b hold as is equal to b a minus b hold as equal to a dash minus b dash this is the answer verify means verify now we will discuss next question this is very important we can observe a b hold as is equal to b dash a dash a b hold as is equal to b dash a dash one of the important property in matrix multiplication under the transpose of the matrix very important key point a b hold as is always equal to b dash a dash most of the students will do the mistakes here a b hold as is equal to a dash b dash they will write that is wrong a b hold as is always equal to b dash a dash let us i will take one example just one more example we will take he may ask if a is equal to 2 minus 1 6 4 b is equal to 0 3 1 2 then through that or verify they may ask verify or prove that a b whole dash is equal to b dash a dash a b whole dash is equal to b dash a dash what i will do matrix multiplication if you know very clear a b matrix a b 2 minus 1 6 4 i will write a matrix i will write b matrix as it is okay simple way now matrix multiplication first row first column first row second column second row first column like this calculate 2 into 0 0 roll call minus 1 into 1 minus 1 2 into 3 6 minus 1 into 2 minus 2 6 into 0 0 minus uh, plus 4 6 into 3 18 4 2 is 8 like this it is there now what happened a b i will write it simplify minus 1 4 4 22 this is the a b matrix what about a b whole dash it becomes what row column interchanging minus 1 4 4 22 this is that i will take y and next i will take what happened i have to take it but this is the question i will already find it now now what i have to do b dash a dash i will write b dash a dash b dash is nothing but a 0 3 i am changing that is 0 3 row it is 0 3 here 1 2 row column interchanging a dash is nothing but a, a it is a 2 minus 1 6 4 row becomes column column so row. now matrix multiplication usual matrix multiplication 0 into 2 0 1 into minus 1 minus 1 next 0 into 6 0 1 into 4 4 3 into 2 6 2 into minus 1 minus 2 3 into 6 18 4 in, 2 into 4 8 here i did a mistake somewhere else. this is what 18 plus 8 i am sorry 18 plus 8 becomes 26 this becomes 26 i am sorry now we can observe here minus 1 4 6 minus 4, 2, 18 plus 18, 26, is that it? This is the observe equation number 2, equation number 1. Observe, A, B hold as always equal to what? B dash. Okay, now we will discuss next question related to transpose of a matrix. Now I will consider this becomes a very important for an annual examination. For an annual examination, Five marks question, this question asked many times and you will get this question very easily and you can solve it very fast also. Let us look at this now. What happened if A matrix 3 minus 1 to 2, B matrix 1 to 4, then through that or verify AB whole dash is equal to B dash A dash. I am saying repeatedly this question, I am not mentioning the elements, elements may change, elements may change anything, but A B whole dash is equal to B dash A dash, like this question, possibly they will ask for, for 5 marks, you can mark out it, that is 5 marks, very important question now, look at this, again last, what we did, same okay, A B matrix we need to find, what is A B, 3 minus 1, 
to this A matrix 1, 2, 4, this is the B matrix how to calculate the I you remember the point in the uh, 3, 4 classes back I said this multiplication is very careful when column row wise multiplication when single row matrix single column matrix they have given how to find just be careful I did it already 3 into 1 3 ok first row first column over next you don't write here 3 into 2 6 don't write here most of the students will write here this is the wrong what I will do first row first column over first row second column here first row third column like this ok this is the important one minus 1 into 1 minus 1 minus 1 into 2 minus 2 minus 1 into 4 minus 4 repeatedly I will say look at this first row first column this is the first row second row this first row third row second row first column ok be careful second row uh, this is the look at this third row first column 2 third row second column 4 third row third column what happened 8 are you getting I think you will get the idea now AB whole dash is what AB whole dash is what rows and columns are in which 3, 6, 12, minus 1, minus 2, minus 4, 2, 4, 8. This is the let us identify 1. Next verify B dash A dash. B dash into A dash. B dash matrix is what? 1, 2, 4. I may I made it column matrix because it is a row. A dash. A dash is what? 3 minus 1, 2. Again, matrix multiplication like same in the previous. 1 into 3, 3. And rewrite it. 1 into 3, 3. 1 into minus 1, minus 1. 1 into 2, 2. First row, first column, first row, second column, first row, third column. 2 into 3, 6. 2 into minus 1, minus 2. 2 into 2, 4. 4 into 3, 12. 4 into minus 1, minus 4. 4 into 2, 8. Object. Let us write it. This is it. Each and every element. Check it. Each and every element must be same. Therefore, from 1 into 1 into A, B, whole dash is always equal to b dash a dash now the important question I will, I will rewrite the question let will change if I will change check it 1 4 2 5 p 0 3 minus 1 just have to, like this same question same prove that a b whole dash then prove that a B whole dash is equal to B dash A dash. Elements may change, but the question almost similarly it is similarity having properties. Let us look at this. Now what I will do? Very fast you can do. A B first. A B 4 2 5 0 3 minus 5 0 12 minus 4 0 6 minus 2 0 15 minus 5 this is a b what about a b whole dash a b whole dash 0 12 minus 4 0 6 minus 2 0 15 minus 1 this is a b whole dash next b dash a dash b dash a dash is what b dash is what 0 3 minus 1 row becomes column next a dash column becomes a row now multiply 0 into 4, 0, 0 into 2, 0, 0 into 5, 0. Look at this. Say, 3 4s are 12, 3 2s are 6, 3 5s are 50, minus 4, minus 2, minus 5. Just after, let us I will take this is exactly the same. The elements may change, but the question property, question, look at that question. So, almost they will ask like this question, and by taking some all examples like this, you can make it practice for 5 marks question. If they ask, it becomes very easy and instead of doing like the previous class, a cube minus like that question, quadratic, a cube minus 4a square minus 40i is equal to null matrix, it becomes so complicated, okay, it makes a lot of time. But here, if the question came like this, you must attend and you will get the time very easily and you will get 5 hours very easily within a short time, 5 minutes is required for five hours okay if they ask this question you must attend it okay we will discuss next symmetry skew symmetry types are, are there at the end of the chapter we came now we will discuss 
in the next class.